Okay, welcome back. So, I thought I'd show you a little trick uh, with the fish hatch. So, um, okay, so with this, with the basic one here, uh, I usually have two, one here and one there. Uh, when you're on the water, you can do it one-handed, uh, but, you know, when you've got a snapper or whatever, boat side, and for the lucky few, snap uh, tuna, uh, you kind of want to do everything one-handed because uh, opening up this two hands is not an option. Or, you know, reaching forward, grabbing a gaff, all that sort of crap. So this is a little uh, cheat. Um, so don't worry about these. Just put them inside, let them hang. Now, they're good for going through the surf and stuff. Uh, but when you're out on the water fishing, uh, just a one-handle sort of operation you need. So in order to do that, uh, I'm sure this has been copied plenty of times before. I'll show you what I do. Uh, I've done it on previous kayaks. Uh, you get the little button holder here. And uh, you make sure, make sure you pop rivet like this. You can go in it like so, and that sits nice and flush, rather tidy. You just got to make sure you've got enough length. Uh, use a bloody long one. Use a big five millimeter one. Get some strength on it. Uh, underneath, you want to stick a nice stainless steel button washer made out of uh, stainless, so it doesn't rust. That'll go on the inside of the kayak. So you can reach reach through from the hatch. And you want to pop this bastard down here. Now you do that second, don't do that first. All right? Or if you really want, you can do that first and do this one second. All right, so it comes around here. It goes onto there, under pressure. And you'll probably want to stick this one there. And what I've got here, you can just buy these from Bunnings or Walmart or wherever you are, Home Depot or Depot, Americans say. So it's just a little button with a little toggle, like a tornado cover for a ute. I think, uh, like a utility, the Americans call them. So put your button washer on first, maybe. Make sure that's secure with a pot rivet. And uh, al aluminium doesn't really rust out on the water too much. Uh, we haven't had any dramas ever. Um, unless you've got a galvanatic reaction against something. And uh, you just uh, throw your little button on. And then uh, you just stretch this one back and then hold it down, mark it, and then drill it and pot rivet that one. That way you've got constant tension on this. Don't do them separately, you've got to do them together. So put the button washing in first, make sure it's secure, and then pull on this toggle down onto the flat section, and it should give you enough tension to just reach forward, pop it off, and this aids as a little finger grip. You can just lift your hatch on and off and just slip it back down. So I'll take you that far. Um, what else do you need? You need uh, an appropriate drill. I'm using metric. Uh, you need a drill to put the basket in and a pot rivet gun. Oh, I've got a uh, cordless, so it makes things a little bit easier. All right, I'll take you that far. Okay, just make sure that when you place the pot rivet in, because it's such a large one, just reset it, rest it a little bit, just below the tip of the button. All right, this will ensure you've got plenty of shank depth. Uh, for that, the washer and the fiberglass, okay? Or carb vibra if you're yuppie and you can afford one. But uh, us common folk, we just go with the fiberglass stills. So, okay, I'll take you that far. Okay, so uh, silicon, wait, silicon around the tip of the pop rivet before you put it in. Um, silicon the shank before you put it in. Then that'll seal off the button. Then seal off the hole. Got a little bit of Nirvana in the background, hope you don't mind. Just using Sully's All Clear. It's pretty good stuff. You just want to make sure whatever you do, you seal it. Okay. Right, now I'll install the button. And I'll do the same for the toggle. And I'll show you the end result. Okay, welcome back. So we're all done. So just add a little bit of silicon just in the top here. There. And a little bit of silicon there. And then just clean it up with methyl methacrylate or whatever you want. Just give it a bit of a tidy up. Um, so basically hatch up and hatch down. So you just uh, one finger, drop it over the top. So not going anywhere. Uh, really good for when you're out fishing. Um, obviously these just uh, sit inside like so, I'll show you. You just throw them in like that. You just throw them in like that. You don't, um, you don't really need them, so they can just sit there. 
Well, you can take them off, but uh, I keep them on just in case we're coming back in through surf. Uh, there are some surf locations where there's a massive six inch shore dump that'll ruin your day. Uh, a few jokes there for a couple of people. Okay, and then you just throw the bastard down, do up your hockey, and you're done. One finger, one operation. So you know, the straps just sit nice and nice and snug inside. That's fine. Um, that's about it. Um, and I'll um, yeah, that's it for today. So have a good one. Knock yourself out. Cheers for watching. Subscribe if you wanna.